What's going on, family? It's your brother Robert. In 2 Chronicles chapter 15, the prophet Azariah received a word from the Lord. And that word was for the king Asa, a king that wholeheartedly walked after and served the Lord. And at the end of his speech or his words from the Lord, Azariah said this in 2 Chronicles chapter 15, verse 7. This is what he said to King Asa. But you, take courage. Do not let your hands be weak, for your work shall be rewarded. Let me say that one more time. But you, take courage. Do not let your hands be weak, for your work shall be rewarded. Now, these words were specifically to this king in this time. But I believe that we can take these words and apply them to any New Testament believer in Jesus Christ. And so I don't want to spend a whole lot of time explaining this today. I just want to simply tell you is to take courage. I don't know what situation you may be going through or challenge you may be facing in life. But I want to encourage you from the word of the Lord to take courage. God is on your side. But not only should you take courage, but the text also says to not let your hands grow weak. Don't get weary. Don't fret. Don't let those cares and concerns of life weigh you down. The Bible says don't get weary in well-doing because in due season you will reap if you faint not. Don't get tired. Keep on going. Keep on fighting. Keep on trusting in the Lord. He is with you. He has promised to never leave you nor forsake you. And he has promised that he is with you always, even to the end of the age. But last and, not, and, and definitely not least, this text tells us that your work shall be rewarded. Those things that you do for the Lord, that service that you do for him, when you share him with a non-believer, when you give your tithes, your gifts, and your offerings to the church, as you encourage somebody in the Lord, I want to encourage you today that you will be rewarded. The Lord sees what you're doing, and he will reward you both now and in eternity. These words that Azariah said to King Asa, I'm sure were an encouragement to him. And I want you to be encouraged by these same words from the Lord. One, take courage. Two, don't let your hands get weak. Don't get weary. But third, most importantly, remember and know that your work will be rewarded. Friends, if you're encouraged by these words to the king, I ask you just to go down in the chat and just say, thank you, Lord, for encouraging me. With that, let's pray. Heavenly Father, as, as you encouraged King Asa, you encourage us today. Encourage us to take courage. Encourage us not to grow weary or to be weak. Encourage us to know that you are can, will, and do reward our work to you. Sometimes it seems like the things that we do may go unnoticed, like nobody sees it, like nobody cares or even has any or even worries about it. But one, we, one thing we do know is that you see all. And we know we, the, we have a Father who sees in secret and can reward openly. Help us to remember those truths and to trust you completely. We love you, we praise you, and we thank you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. So thank you for studying with me. Come back for more daily devotionals. God bless.